it's just busy. Uh-oh. It looks like we may have a zombie in the next match. I'll, I'll keep y'all updated because you know what? The bringer, the harbinger of death is actually our first GM. <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm wondering if anybody can guess from that clue. <laughs> anybody, anybody. Yeah, th the person who uh, literally has led to multiple deaths through the course of Cusa Grande is choosing the game for today. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is our GM Jeff. GM Jeff, come on, hop into chat, and let's go ahead and find out what kind of misery you have today. We'll see, we'll see. I, I'm not 100% sure he's listening to me. Jeff? Jeff! Jeff! I, I sound like old man grandpa right there. Jeff! Jeff, how about you come and give us a video game? Jeff, I want one of those electronic entertainments on my twitch.tv. <laughs> oh, he'll be he'll be ready in a moment. Okay. Jeff! Jeffrey! Uh. Je Jeffrey, okay, well, I'll, I'll do the introduction without Jeff. So today, we have one of my favorite things, because apparently I grew up in, in the 1920s. It's clouds! We've got clouds for today. Look, it's Willy's PC game. Oh, you know, one time I married a clown. It was, it was terrifying. <laughs> I don't think I'm okay, no. But we've got clouds today. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure people are going to be physically and emotionally scarred. Mostly emotionally, but possibly physically, you know? Clowns, simply put, are not good. And video games based on clowns... <laughs> Even worse, even worse. Well, luckily, I will say that we have four lovely people who are going to be trying to, you know, they're, they're going to be the best clown that they can possibly be. It can't be as bad as Evil Knievel? I don't know. Like, it could be, who knows? Oh, I'm... Oh my gosh, I loved when we had Evil Knievel. That was, like, the best. Yeah, I know. I know. Look, it wasn't my choice to have clowns today. It was Jeff. Jeff is making me live through clowns. He heard me complaining about clowns so much yesterday, he decided I have to... I have to watch one for an hour. It's madness, okay? What is this music? I don't know. You'll all live through it. <laughs> so, luckily we've got plenty of clowns that are going to be coming your way. You know, this is not the first clown game that we've considered. I think it's the first clown game that has actually managed to slide through and be on Cusa Grande. So welcome. Wait, this is an advertising game? Oh no, of course. Jeff, that's like his thing. You know, so everybody go buy this dumb clown candy and regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, 
It looks like we're going to have Cyphering giving us some lovely uh, jams today. Thank you, Cyphering, for volunteering your audio, your loud PC speaker for this. By the way, the game that we're having today is, as a matter of fact, a DOS game. That's right. DOS stands for Doom or Sloom. Nobody knows what that means. Welcome to the 90s. Actually, I have no idea what DOS means. You pick Sloom. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, disk operating system? Wow, that's actually so logical. And kind of a very useful acronym. That's nice, thank you. The makers of DOS for actually using your brain when creating a name. I can't say that Windows 10 makes much sense. Where's 9? I know that joke's been overdone, but I'm genuinely curious. Maybe 9 was just a prototype that they are like, wow, there are just too many fart sound effects. We can't even find them all now. We're just gonna have to scrap the whole project, okay? Move on to 10. Maybe they had too much 3D text in 9. <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody's just getting motion sickness when looking at the intro screen for this Windows. 9 was 8.5? Yeah, sure it was. Sure it was. That's what they want you to think. Ah, uh, Seawolf, thank you for resubbing. I see Windrider Shiva did as well. Come, whale bro. Okay, I'm currently waiting for two of our streamers to go. Uh, to, to get started streaming. Hopefully that will happen in just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I think... Because it's DOS, you never exactly know how much work they have to put into getting everything ready. Okay. So as far as I can tell, we've got Dan, God of Thunder, Cypher, and Jingle Storm, and then, uh, it looks like Nod Van Bao is going to be a zombie. Just so you know, zombies happen when first people die, and then, uh, they get a virus. Kind of terrifying, okay? Viruses just bleh, raining down from the sky, sometimes put there by the government, and they catch it and then they eat your brains. Uh, but also, in Cuso Grande, viruses happen because uh, one person is a no show. And so, for this match specifically, Nod Then Bao is going to be jumping in and providing our brain eating. Which I, I really can appreciate. Okay. Come here. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find some skulls and crossbones. I just need skull and crossbones. Skull and cross. Okay, there it is. There. I got a skull and crossbones. <laughs> they were really buried down in my closet. They were just hard to grab, you know? Had to do a little digging, but we're good. Hey, Jeff. Bersenta, how are you? Doing great. How about you? I'm here. Oh, so, hello. I'm super excited about this game. Well, that's dumb, because it's got clowns. Why are you excited about clowns? It, it's got clown singular. Just one. Oh, only one? That makes it a little better. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a clown. There's going to be a clown car. Okay, there will be. Only one clown in it. Okay, I, I can approve of that. One, well, 
more so than multiple clowns, okay? But I'm still not a fan of clowns. I'm sorry, you're gonna see a lot of a clown. Does he make dumb clown noises? There are a lot of dumb noises. <laughs> oh no. Not then, Bao, I'm glad that you're here joining us as well. You're gonna be giving us a little bit of your experience as you go through the game. Yeah, man. Yeah, are you... tell us is the best game. <laughs> what are I've your... never played it bad. <laughs> oh, okay. What are your opinions about clowns? I don't mind them. Well, that's dumb. They're fine. <laughs> they make great games. <laughs> clowns make good games? Wow. That's... That's a take, all right. So, I was a little hesitant handing this game out because um, it's really hard and it's uh, it's really bad. And um, I, I kind of almost feel bad about giving it out. I think it's going to cause people nightmares. I think so, too. I'm already having nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? The doctor said it's hallucinations. So, oh, okay. yeah. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, no, I, 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 I'm having nightmares because I see clowns on the screen. Yeah. Um, well, just remember, keep breathing. And um, oh, there's going to be some yummy, okay. some <laughs> yummy candies. We're going to play on easy uh, because this game is really hard. We're playing on easy. Okay, I, I can dig that. So easy gives you um, a longer time to finish the level and more clowns. I mean, more lives. More clowns. You only see one. There's only one clown at a time on the screen. They're, they're lives. Uh huh. Like, you know. Gotcha. I'm actually going to double the audio right now because it was a little bit quiet for me. And I want you all to uh, die with <laughs> clown noises. Rude. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, it's super important. Oh my gosh, stupid, stupid clowns. Okay, here we go. I think we're ready to roll, everybody. If you have clown emotes, I suppose car emotes, uh, anything that is like a bouncy ball, or what else do you see in here? Candy. You got Bursanch's face, that's a good one too. <laughs> I'm not a clown! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not a clown. Here we go! We're doing the countdown in uh, Discord. Wish them the best of luck. Don't spam my face, you morons! <laughs> 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 oh! And as soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will start our timer. Is Cipherin having some issues? Yes. And their stream is already down. Wow. Okay, I'm letting them know to pause real quick because I don't want to start without being able to see one person's screen. The clown is so powerful, it brought down the stream. Wow. This is what happened. The stream happens. was just like, no, not, not having any of it. Okay. Well, you know what? We're right at the beginning. I am going to... Yeah. I'm just letting Cypher and Noah to work on getting the stream up. We had some jolly little clown sounds, but actually, Nodenbao, are you using voice on your stream right now? I am. Uh, oh, okay. I can turn it off if you want. But oh wait, I'll it'll still have your voice. Never mind. Uh oh. Okay, that that's fine then. We'll go ahead and just keep using Cypher and sound. Aha, uh -huh, apparently OBS was lying to cipher in. Wow, deceiving. He 
Wow, there's an I blame OBS emote. That's fantastic. You have an I blame OBS emote? Okay. You know what? We're going to have to do another countdown. And I want you all to find actual stupid clown emotes and not face, not my face because I'm not a clown. Ah, uh, da da. Oh, what a beautiful. So, Nod and Bow, how is the weather in your locale? Oh, it's finally above freezing, so that's nice. Okay, that's good. Is it raining? Nope, not raining. It's raining here, and I'm so angry. You don't get to go outside and play today. Those happy Jack faces are so creepy in chat. Let me just say. Also, why did you hide, like, one angry Jack in the middle of the happy Jack lupine one? <laughs> okay, Don. Don Dan There's actually got multiple thunder. unhappy ones. They're wow. kind of distributed. Oh, geez. Well, I didn't notice all of the miserable clowns. Sorry, that's not necessarily ah, my thing. We're live. Oh, All boy. right. Okay. Okay, everyone, let's do this. Okay, wish them the best of luck and spam the clowns and clowns only, actually, or whatever you want, just not my face. Wish them luck. Hopefully streams don't die this time. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, wow, Cadus. Wow. I am totally offended. And I feel like I should be. All right, so... There's a lot going on here. Uh, you'll see in the beginning, there's a car. Okay. A happy little car. And it's a mouth, and you're going to feed it candy. Okay, you feed candy to your car. You feed candy to the car. That's right. Okay. I mean, uh, and he's hungry. <laughs> yeah, and so, um, but you need fuel for the car. Okay. Fair enough. And candy is the fuel. Now... You said that this is very difficult. I'm not seeing any difficulty yet, Jeff. I feel like I've been misled. Oh, it's it's coming. Okay. So what are they collecting? Is that taffy or is it some sort of like... It almost seems like Gum someone's disemboweled intestines. They're gummy worms. Oh, okay. And That's so better. They, they need 60 of them. And Cypherin, uh very uh, cleverly jumped down the, uh, the water and found uh, uh, an area with lots of candy in it. So, so how much candy do you need to get for your car? Um, well, you need, you need 60. And okay. uh, it's counting down uh, so you can see on everyone's screen. Um, that's nice. how many left. How many left. You don't have to get every single one in the level. There's a little bit more than 60 gummy worms. Okay. Are they only going for gummy worms at this point? So, there's also uh, fuel, and some of the candies are fuel. Um, so they'll need uh, enough fuel to get to the end of the level. Okay, gotcha. Je or not then Bao, what are your first reactions to the controls here? Or faithful zombie? Uh, well, once you start jumping, you press the direction in the air, you can't just fall straight down. Oh, no. Okay, no... F Sonic. Yeah, Sonic it... Goes. I was trying to think. It, it looked like, essentially, once you are jumping, you're not necessarily committed in a direction, but you're committed to moving. You're going to wiggle until you hit the ground. I see a little bit of lag on Dan's. I don't know if it's the stream or the game. But 
There it go. It's back now. Yay! It's probably just the game. It's... I don't know. It's it's a high-quality video game. Indeed. Um, so you can see, again, Cypherin uh, went into a... I don't know... house... cabin... where there are a whole bunch more uh, of the gummy worms. Ah! And okay. has also... You can see on the bottom left, um, Cypherin's collected some items so far. The first one is a beach ball, which you can throw at enemies. We haven't seen any enemies yet. Um, the second one is a party favor. Um, you know, like the, the, the things you blow on them and it, it un, unfurls? Uh, yeah. And makes a noise? Yeah. Um, so that's, that's that. That scares the enemy. Oh, okay, good. And then there are keys, which uh, let you get into these uh, cabins. That's really questionable that this clown is going around stealing people's keys and then taking all their candy. <laughs> well, he needs them to feed his car. Well, that's even worse! Can you just imagine? <laughs> this is like a Stephen King novel right here. It's a very tame Stephen King novel. I don't know. Some of his novels are kind of just a little bit weird. A lot of them are fantastic, but he did direct that one movie that had cars with faces. Uh, and... Oh, yeah, and he also did The Langoliers, which is probably the most boring six hours of your life. Oh, Maximum Overdrive. Yeah, that movie was a little bit weird. You don't ask Stephen King to direct your movies because it's going to be strange. And not in a good way. <laughs> so it looks like everybody now has uh, all of the collectibles for this first level. Um, and Cypherin's also filled up uh, the fuel bar. So they're ready to go. Um, I don't know why they're... Uh, they're delaying. Got to get all the gummies. You know, possibly their thought is it's a good idea to get as many collectibles as possible to see if you get any one-ups from it. Uh, I, I suppose. I gave them very detailed instructions and uh, with no mention of one-ups. So, <laughs> yeah. Justin, why are you um, eating me? Ah! He's attacking! Help! He thinks I'm candy! You, you are candy. I'm... No, I'm not! I'm flesh and bone! <laughs> You're sweet! Aw, thank you, Jeff. He said I'm sweet. Alright, Dan is, for some reason, no. No, driving the wrong way in the car. <laughs> um, and using all of their fuel doing that. Oh no! So... But it, they're just about out of time, anyway. Oh yeah, Down um, God of Thunder is just death by time. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. So. Um, Cypherin uh, is should be at the end of the level. So um, why everybody else is walking sideways pretty quickly, but Dan is chugging. Uh, I don't know. It must be, uh, Dan's computer. I don't know, because the clock at the bottom is going super fast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, it looks like Dan just wasn't pushing run. Is there oh, a run button? Okay. Uh, there's not a run button. You need to hold down. I, I'm not entirely sure. It's like you, um, not, a, are you? I'm not pressing anything to run. Just left it's not, there. Yeah, it's not an extra button. You need to, um, you need to hold it down. I, I don't know. Maybe Dan accidentally just made it so that he went really slow. I don't know. We, we don't know why Dan was slower, but he's fast now. Okay. Yeah, when I uh, started up the game, I was going a little slow, and then it just sort of got better. I don't really know what I did. <laughs> I love it, Jeff. Okay. Um, so, uh, so Cypherin's now on uh, a level with uh, with some enemies on it. 
I'm not entirely sure what those things are. Uh, they're certainly scary. And okay. uh, now the the collectibles for this level are purple. What are they like? Uh, now and later's or something like that. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's those good, no, good and plenty. I hate those. They're so gross. It looks uh, like oh, it might be delicious, and then bam, black licorice in the middle. Yeah, and, and then, like I'm okay with black licorice now, but they're they're dumb. I hate them. So yeah, and then there's black licorice on this level. Uh, wow, licorice themed level. A licorice-themed level. Ooh. I'm so excited. And, you know, the, one of the things I think is cool is the keys are not all the same icon. They, some of them are sort of antique-looking. Um, they, uh, they all look a little bit different. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, Dan's clown is slow again, and I'm not sure why. Uh, okay, he's question. fast. So the question happens when the meter fills up. That's the fuel uh, to power your car. Um, so when it fills up, uh, you have a full tank and you can drive to the end of the level. Maybe it's just if you eat certain types of candy, your clown gets weighed down. I don't know. <laughs> just <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's it's something on the control. Because Jangle Storm got slow for a little while there too. Okay, as long as it's happening to, like, everyone now and then. <laughs> no sympathy. Okay, it looks like Nothing Bao is going to be hopping in the car, maybe? Maybe? Sort of. Oh, there we go. Let's see how long your fuel lasts, Nod. Go. Oh, it doesn't go past there. Oh. Wait, why can't you cross the water? Well, I know why cars can't go across water. They'll rust. And also probably fall in the water and sink. Okay, apparently- oh, oh, okay, yeah, we have seen other players go and get a switch in order to put a bridge down. That's right. Thank you, Chad, exactly. for the information. Now, Nod doesn't matter, so we can spoil everything that we want for him. Well, you, you do matter. Thanks. But as a player, you don't matter. <laughs> you matter to our hearts. Okay, Jangle Storm is really slow right now. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes on Dan and see if there's candy he's eating that's making his clown obese. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetic, maybe. Um, gonna slow you down a bit. I don't so, know! Uh, s some of the interesting things in this game, I, I, I don't know if you can tell on screen yet, but... The hitboxes, or sort of like where the where you can stand, often doesn't correspond with the platforms you see on the screen. Oh yeah. So, so there are a lot of times where you're just standing on on air. There's just nothing there, and that's that's by design. That's part of the puzzle. <laughs> you know, I would prefer having a little extra space to stand. You know, just stand in the air a little bit. Looks like Jangle Storm is trying to figure out where to go with the car. Okay, he's going the correct direction, which is right. Yeah, and uh... honestly, I think maybe the best idea with this game is to get or drive the car wherever you can go, just so that you're saving time. So yeah, that, it you helps know. a little bit, but, um, you know, you, you only have, uh, no, I, I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, but you, you often get stopped because you need bridges. And, uh, yeah. Activate the bridges. So it only helps so much. Um, honestly, what, uh, what's hard once you get past the first level is sort of finding everything. Yeah. A lot of collectibles to get. And 
as you saw, um, some people stumbled upon you have to fall into a lake <laughs> to get some of the collectibles. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, you gotta, you know, look everywhere, go into all these houses. Uh, Dan is slow again. I missed. I was, I was trying to watch what happened to cause him to start getting slow. Maybe it's just he hadn't had candy in a long time. Oh, uh, see, there's, uh... Dan on the invisible platforms. Yeah, I saw that platform. Well, I didn't see that platform, but I saw that he was then, standing in the air. Yeah, and then what looks like actual platforms, you can't really jump on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is It's a little bit of a mystery here. Yeah, I thought at first, like, wow, these are really janky hitboxes. This is worse than a Chinese bootleg. Until I figured out it seems to be on purpose. Like, I do think it's a little bit on purpose. I'm not so, sure why they thought it was a good idea. But. So talk to me a little bit, Jeff. What is... Uh, this game is definitely an advertisement game. Yeah, and, for uh, candies. Okay. Uh, for where, though? Where did this come out? Uh, in Germany. Uh, so, I think we, well, you, you saw on the options screen, uh, it's in German. There is a lot of text at the beginning. I can read you, um, uh, I, I did a translate, an online translator, so I can okay. tell you more. Okay. Well, Dan's Hello. car is slow now, and I don't know why. Hello! Hello, welcome to the first stage in Gummy Circus Land. Here are Nessie, the snake of Loch Ness. Cheerful, colorful ollie bears and dinosaurs to collect. But stop, one thing you still need to know. Fruit gum from the Whistle Circus Nessie brings supplies. At least 60 times, the snake must be in the abdominal shop. <laughs> the abdominal shop? What? <laughs> Also wonderfully fruity, soft, and bearish. Ollie Bear. Uh, bring time. So quickly collect. Dinosaurs bring fuel. Take it to the belly shop. The belly shop! Of course, why didn't I think of that? I guess belly shop just means a, somewhere you eat. I don't know. That sounds pretty good. Now, I. <laughs> the thing is, all of the players are playing on... Uh, on DOSBox, and all of the DOSBox settings are the same. So, as, as we've seen, Jangle Storm has run into some of the, uh, what looks like lag as well, which actually is a huge disadvantage. I'm not sure about Nod. Have you ever felt like you were walking significantly slower, Nod? Not at all. In the same speed the whole time for me. Yeah, the, the timer goes the same speed as well. I, I swear that there's something going on that is causing them to slow down. So, I'm I'm keeping razor... Oh, there goes Dan. I have no idea. Maybe after you jump so much, your clown gets tired? Let me see. Did you, did you post a manual? I did. I sent you a... Uh, the paste bin. That's right. The skull, by the way, means that we have a zombie player, somebody who is just not actually going to be judged in the match, and he is playing and giving commentary so that we can uh, get some information about this. Okay. So, Nessie brings supplies. At least 60 times the snake must be in the abdom uh, abdominal shop. Also wonderfully fruity, soft, and bearish. Oli bear bring time. So quickly collect. Dinos... Okay, Oli bear gives you extra time, is that right? Dinosaurs bring fuel. Take it to the belly shop. I'm just trying to travel this terror or like travel through this wonderful dialogue in this manual here. It's it's speaking to me on a personal level. 
to be fair, they, that's not their translation. This is uh, an auto translate from the web. Oh, well, um, that's fine. I typed in all the text on the screen and uh, hit translate, and this is what it spit out. <laughs> Okay. You need you need Go the ahead. car to get the end of the level. That's how you uh, that's how you beat the level. Uh huh. If the ball is thrown into the void, it is lost. <laughs> I love this instruction that you gave. <laughs> I mean, it's not untrue. It's it's not untrue. Okay. That really sounds like something they'd say in German. Like I almost feel like that's a, that's an accurate translation. Wow. So as it turns out, in order to get into the high score list, you have to beat it at the hardest difficulty. You do yes. not get into the Hall of Fame if you do not play it on the hardest difficulty. Right, and this is the easiest difficulty. So, um, what happens is on Hardest, you get less time and less clowns, less lives. Okay. Running time, display fuel, number and type of auxiliary items, number of level products, number of clowns. Like, I'm, I'm just reading through this pace pin, I don't see anything about... Moving down will leave her into the car, you can also jump off a flat shape or something. Press the fire button. A key is used to operate a key switch. All the joystick commands have to be replaced when playing with the keyboard as follows. Run left, left. Arrow key. Run right, right arrow key. Jump down, down arrow key. Jump up, space bar. The game can be made at any time with the key combination control plus alt plus print to exit. Control alt print. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> you won when you parked your car in front of the circus tent and walked in to distribute the Whiskle Circus treats. Okay, so we're trying to get back to the other clowns. Yeah, but fortunately they're not on screen. That's good. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not saying a lot because I'm just sitting here laughing, <laughs> having trouble uh, <laughs> Why, controlling Jeff? myself. This is so good! Uh, you're enjoying the game? You're enjoying I the clowns? Wow. I love this. Hey, it looks like Cypherin does have all the collectibles needed and seven minutes left, but needs to clear the path in order for the car to get through. So the way we're scoring this is uh, number of, or which level you get to, followed by the number of collectibles. Yeah. Uh, so we're disregarding the amount of fuel and uh, the switches. Um, obviously, when you get the switches, uh, you're able to m move on to the end of the level. Gotcha. So Seyfrin's got a lot of keys. Oh yeah. It looks like Nod and Bao is on to the second level as well. Jango Storm is the only one who hasn't gotten there yet. But I feel like Jango Storm has a good chance. Just gotta plow through and do as good as he can. Oh, there's so much candy to be had. Dan, was that a death? Are there death pits in this? Oh yeah. Start of the second level. The Why? Death pit. It's got candy over it too, to trick you. But <laughs> but like but but the first level teaches you to jump into those. Yeah, and then the second level teaches you not to. Well <laughs> it's oh, an interactive gosh. learning experience. But now I I can't trust anything. I can't trust anything. I've Lost my ability to trust. 
There goes Dan, uh, you know, back on the first level. Did you ever really trust clowns, though? No. So... Obviously. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, does this company still exist? I feel like they do. This was a very hard game to locate. Uh, took me took me a couple hours to find this. So you knew of the existence of the game, but it took you a while to figure out where it was. I saw the YouTube video of it. Um, I think somebody was was playing a whole bunch of different games, and uh, I saw a few seconds of this, and I said, "That's perfect. I need that." You know, I'm wondering, because there are hotkeys in DOSBox in order to change the cycles that are going on, perhaps there is a key combination uh, that players are pushing that slows the cycles down. But then it gets better, so they're well, pushing it again. I don't know. Oh, I'm really slow now. Yeah, what do your cycles say at the top of DOSBox? 100% uh, cycles. Okay, but how many? Uh, Should have like a thousand cycles, or...? It does not say any. <laughs> huh. Oh no, well you need cycles. Maybe that's the problem. You need more cycles! I think the clown needs unicycles. What do you think? No, well, I don't know. This clown could probably handle it. You know, I'm not as upset at this clown. I'm gonna be honest. He's just trying to feed his fellow clowns. I think it has something to do with going through the doors. Really? That's how I fixed it. <laughs> okay, that's weird. I guess maybe you spend too much time outdoors and need to go in to refresh in the air conditioning. <laughs> this game has such deep lore and mechanic. Uh, such difficult mechanics. Well... Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Uh, for, for a run and jump game, uh, there's a lot of things happening. You're running and you're jumping. That's about it. Jeff, I don't think there's a lot going on in here. You're just trying to... Well, you, you have weapons. Get... Well, okay, like a ball and... You have a car. A car. Is that a weapon? The car is not a weapon. Well, okay. The car reminds me of the car from Cars. Like, it has that uh, it little smiley face. It kind of does, yeah. Oh, okay. no. Uh, running out of time is not really too neat in this game. It's just like, oh, guess what? You have to start over. Have fun. I'm not sure why you want to scare enemies. <laughs> I mean, they, they don't really do all that much, but uh, I guess you want them to leave so you can get the candy. To... Huh they're protecting, but I've not really seen a lot of games where you scare the enemies away. So why is Cypher in... Oh, he's just jumping around trying to figure out where the invisible platforms are here. Yep. That's nice. Why isn't he collecting the ice cream, though? No, oh, well, I, he probably doesn't need it, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, you don't need ice cream, but... It makes you hiccup. Oh, watching his calories. That's an awful lot of ice cream. Do you know what happened? Finally, the block showed up! Wow, <laughs> this game is an inspiration to all people everywhere. Yep. This is kind of terrible. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, ice cream <laughs> reduces the timer. Okay. If you oh, eat ice okay. cream, you have less time to jump around. That's what this game needed, is timer reduction. 
Only the best. Yeah, it seems like this stage, it's actually fairly easy to uh, get enough candy. It's just a little laborious to actually get to the end here. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, Cypherin has hit the switch. That is great. And eating a little more ice cream. That's okay, ice cream's... In moderation, ice cream is fine, you know? Maybe don't go eat a gallon of ice cream tonight. You can eat a little bit. Okay, Mom. Jeff! No! What? I'm speaking as somebody who does not want you to be miserable. Okay. I'm glad you're looking out for me. Yeah, I'm I'm here for your best interest, and your best interest is if you eat that much ice cream, you're gonna feel absolutely terrible. You're gonna feel so bad. But first I'm gonna feel really good. No. <laughs> You'll be like, wow, that tasted good, now I feel gross. You know what I actually like... do instead of ice cream is uh, I eat frozen bananas. If you whip them up, they really taste like ice cream. It's amazing. Ooh, that actually sounds good. Looks like Dan, God of Thunder, has gotten a key. That's great. I look at these uh, donuts and cakes. I feel That's bad. Jangle cakes. Storm is having a really hard time getting through this. I think partly because of the intense slowdown that's happening on occasion. <sighs> They're gummy rings rather than rather than donuts. I thought mm. they were that may be that they're gummy rings. I thought they were donuts because there's also cake in the level. Cypher and just ate way too much cake. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna say ice cream moderation. Cake moderation. Okay? This donut just doesn't know how to control himself. Or this donut, this this clown. He doesn't know how to control himself. <laughs> but he he needs some of it to fuel the car. So he's not he's he's not eating all of it. Um, but also the lore of the game is that he's not eating these. He's bringing them to the other clowns at the circus. Well, they're going to eat it together. He's enabling them. Well, yeah, but maybe This is why there's... clowns are terrible. I thought that it was because they murdered people, but no, it's because they enable people. Well, maybe he's going to, you know, clown con, and there's a hundred clowns, and they're just gonna split these little candies up amongst themselves. Oh, jeez, that sounds like a con I can avoid. <laughs> clown con! Everybody want to go to clown con? <laughs> I mean, if they have all these candies... I wouldn't mind. You know, the first panel that they have every day is how to avoid the lifelong regret that you will be feeling choosing this as a career. I, I, I don't think that's fair. Clowns help people. How? Uh, you know, they help people help. remember, oh, you know, I could I could have made a terrible life choice like this dude, but thank goodness you know, they, I didn't. <laughs> They, they they go to the hospital and help sick kids make them laugh that's a thing they help kids uh, have fun on their birthday my gosh if a clown ever came to the hospital when I was there I probably would have just pulled the plug been like I'm done I'm out okay if this is what it's like to be sick I'm just gonna you know I don't like this clown no we're done <laughs> wow um you really hate clowns. <laughs> Most people don't have that strong feelings, uh, even if they don't like them. But I, I understand. There, there's also clown phobia is a real thing. Yeah, I probably took that just a little bit too far. Sorry, chat. <laughs> but I don't like clowns. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it's called colrophobia. I don't know. Severe clowns. I don't. I don't know if it's fear. It's more severe hatred. Well, you're not suffering from colrophobia, then. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, not than bow. It looks like your stream is suffering a little bit. I'm just going to imagine that you're uh, you're becoming a clown. You're slowly transforming into one. Yep. I wonder if it's yep, it's true. It He's now a clown. Yeah. Jeff, Ooh. don't look behind you. There might be a clown right now. I mean, it really wouldn't bother me that much. Like, maybe I'll get a balloon animal out of it. Or a quarter. Who doesn't like quarters? I mean, you don't get to keep the quarter, but it's still fun to see one. A quarter? A like... quarter or a wooden nickel? I know what those. those... Are I've I've had quarters in my life. I'm you had very... them in your ear. In Is what? this what happens when you're in your ear? This is what happens when you uh, when you, you you see a clown? They pull a, a a nickel or a quarter out of your ear. This is their little trick. Well, I wash in my ears. Like I'm pretty sure I don't have quarters in there. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know, are you trying to imply that I have bad hygiene? <laughs> no, there's not an actual quarter. They, they, I even they used deodorant at GDQ! That's they, like a step they, up. They, they, <laughs> 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 oh. The clowns do some magic. At least the clowns I've seen, they do like some real basic magic stuff. Some of them are okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I Jeff. I don't know what's going on. Cypher and uh, passed up that key. I don't know how you get in there. You know, I'm trying to think. Even though people have been smelly at GDQs, I've still smelled worse people at other conventions, so... GDQ, you know, you're at least average, if not a little bit better smelling than the average convention. So I'll give, I'll give you that. Well, you, you may just have a skewed sample of conventions. Uh, a little bit. About. I'm sorry, everybody is just making me laugh. I'm loving this. Today's a good day. Not that Bao has died, but, you know, he was a zombie to begin <laughs> with, so... Dangle zombie, go back to the grave! So, I'm getting messages. Cyphering apparently hasn't realized that some of the rooms in Stage 3 have key switches directly beneath what appears to be ladders. Uh, and also, drum boardist. Uh, just so you know, they're not in chat. You can spoil whatever you want there. It's cool. No PMs are necessary. Yeah, this is a change from last season. And yes. I, I like it. I really like it as well. You can spoil whatever you want in Twitch chat because the runners are banned. Well, not All banned. They're just not allowed. <laughs> That's kind of the same thing as banned, isn't it? Well, no, no, there's a difference. I can't really describe what the difference is, but there is one. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. You know what? Unfortunately, that means that we have fewer timeouts, but don't worry, we can figure out a way to time everybody out at one point or another. It looks like everybody has made it to stage two, ciphering to stage three. At this point, you know, we, we've got a lot of pretty strong competition going on in this level. Let me see if Nod Then Bao is okay, actually. <laughs> I'm very curious. Oh, his internet is dead. Ah. I think Dan's gonna make it to uh, to level three pretty fast or pretty soon. Oh well, no, was about to, but then died. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I had gotten all the collectibles and was ready to go. That's rough. It, it's really difficult. 
I, I don't know. You, you were saying that this was difficult, and I didn't believe you, but now I kind of do. I mean, the invisible platforms are kind of rough. Um, it, it's, it's complicated. I mean, it's a lot to think about. You have to avoid the ice cream while getting the uh, licorice. Licorice. Um, licorice. Licorice. Unless you say licorice in D.C., no, we say licorice. I was just uh, okay. stumbling over my words. I do that all the time. You're in good company. Oh, and Cypher. Oh no, Cypher is over. back to the beginning. This is opening up a chance for both Dan, God of Thunder, and Jangle Storm to make some significant progress. I also think, like, uh, the idea that you're supposed to jump into the uh, lake in the first level is pretty tricky. I mean, fortunately, uh, these players, some of them seem to have come across it by accident, but um, if you really needed those extra snakes, um, you know, They're gummy so worms. Them. Right. Snakes. Okay. They're, they're the Loch Ness snakes. The Loch Ness snakes. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's the lore. I love it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, thank you for teaching me about what candy is, actually. I'm trying to think. You know, it would be kind of fun to make homemade candy. You just go to your local grocery store, buy five pounds of sugar, the cashier gives you a weird look, and you're like, don't ask. Just, just making... it's a project. Depending on what you're doing, making candy can be really dangerous. Wait, really? Uh, cause, yeah, uh, when you're uh, making things that need to get hot, for example, if you're working with uh, caramel, um, if you get it on your hand, it sticks. You can't oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So you, can, you can get burned really easily. And candy, uh, you need a really precise uh, thermometer for making candy. So they have candy thermometers. Okay. So I'm going to recommend everybody, if you... Uh, uh, do decide to go and make candy after this stream. Remember to wear your candy safety gear. Maybe, or or get your little sibling to do it for you. That's also a solution. <laughs> after you scare them. <laughs> yeah, you gotta... <laughs> wait, scare them into scare making them. candy? <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, you tell them, hey, the, the zombie. The zombie's gonna get you if you don't make them candy. Or... You don't make this for me, a clown's coming over. They're gonna yeah, make it for not... you. <laughs> you want clown <laughs> candy? <laughs> oh. So, you know, these the candies look good. They have dinosaurs and gummy bears and snakes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know what? I'm just imagining if I ever wore... Or, if I ever made candy myself, I would probably want to wear, like, a beekeeper's outfit. Just, instead of bees, though, it's candy that's trying to attack me, you know, pop in and getting all this hot sugar all over the place. But I feel like that would be pretty effective, you know? Head-to-toe protection against melted candy. Well, what if you were, uh, your candy was bees? Ooh, it's double effective. Candy bees. Candy bees. That's got to be a thing. Like maybe with I some don't honey think, in it. I don't think I've ever seen candy bees. We make candy. I've seen apple else. bees. <laughs> but not well, candy much bees. It's got Are an you apple in it. I don't. I don't know if it is, Jeff. I'm gonna be honest there. They're named after a fruit. How bad could that be? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think it, of it other things well named after fruit. Like what? Kale bee. It might as well be called kale bees. Like, some very, uh, very healthy... I suppose you know, ...colored so. greens bees. You know, there was a grapefruit diet, but I'm on pills that apparently if I eat grapefruit, I die. So, yeah. uh, no grapefruit for me. Yeah, don't put that in the freaking candy. Right for candy? Stupid idea. Yeah, 
Yeah, I took a pharmacology class when I was in uh, grad school, and uh, we, we learned a little bit about the grapefruit interaction with some different medicines. Yeah. It's just kind of a random thing. The thing is, like, I never wanted grapefruit until I learned that it could potentially really destroy me. <laughs> and now it's like, dang it, I remember what grapefruit tasted like. Kind of. I can't, like, I don't know, there's always that urge. It's like, whatever, I can eat most stuff. I can eat ice cream, but mm, I, want, I have a hankering for some grapefruit right now. Can't do it. So you just want it because you can't have it. Exactly, Jeff. I want everything I can't have. Wow, you're, you're like describing my life right there. Well, um, you, you couldn't have had this game until today, so... Was that something you wanted? If I told you, if I showed you this and said, uh, all the copies have disappeared, you can't play this. Well... That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> By the way, chat, I want to emphasize, broccoli is pretty freaking awesome. So I'll eat all of your broccoli, you nerds. You might not want to eat all of it. All of it! I'm I, gonna become broccoli, man. Run what around. happened to the brucentia that was like, in moderation, just... You know, don't eat all no, of it. No, that's candy in moderation, ice cream in moderation, broccoli out the nose, okay? Ooh. <laughs> I... Wow. Apparently, uh, chat knows some very special foods. But, I don't know. I'll, I'll almost eat anything. And for questions in chat, steamed broccoli with just a little bit of salt, tiny bit. That's all you need. Has Dan thrown in the towel? Let me check right now and see what Dan is saying. He says, gah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that that's a reaction I kind of expected. <laughs> First level you can get through in about five minutes. Oh Four yeah, Brussels minutes. Brussels sprouts are so good when they're roasted. Oh my gosh, Jeff. Yeah, this is true. This I is never true. knew how divine they were. Like, I don't know. They teach you as a child that you're supposed to hate all this stuff. You're supposed to hate broccoli. You're supposed to hate Brussels sprouts. You're supposed just to do that. And then uh, when you, and then when I grew up, I was like. They told me that I was supposed to hate everything that's delicious on this world. What? <laughs> who, who told you broccoli is something you should hate? TV? Stupid cartoons? Okay, they're always like, Ew, Brussels sprouts! Grandma made me Brussels sprouts and I'm vomiting everywhere! That's what cartoons were like, okay? And then I grew up and I was like, wow, those kids were dumb. And the producers are just using anti-vegetable propaganda here. Yeah, they want to sell their their sugary breakfast cereals and candy. Yeah, In but... fact, they should have put some broccoli into this game and it, it you know, kills you or something. What? It was to help them sell more candy. Hey, Nod then Bow's back. Hello. Back hey. Oh, spinach is fantastic. Uh... I can even deal with boiled spinach if it comes down to it. I'd rather have it either raw or probably somewhat grilled. On pizza is fantastic. Yeah, you know the trick to bro uh, to uh, spinach on pizza is you put it uh, below the cheese and tomato sauce. Ooh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Then it doesn't uh, get doesn't get too crispy. I like crispy though. Crispy's good. Well, some on top. But if you're somebody that doesn't want your spinach to be burnt, uh, that's what people do. Okay, gotcha. Or, wow. of course, you know, you can just put it on at the end, but... Uh, I'm just... I like how often, like, conversations here end up being about what food we like. <laughs> it's... Well, to be fair, 
most of the games I pick are about food. It's true. You know, I when I was growing up, I didn't think I liked steak. But it turns out that it's just because uh, my parents cook steak well past well done. Like, I, well done wasn't even on their chart there. It was like a crispy, a little crispy. And yeah, I, I never thought that I liked it because they'd essentially get it nice and slightly burned and then use steak sauce and I didn't even like the flavor of steak sauce so I don't know it wasn't until I was an adult and had my first steak at a restaurant that I was like what have I been missing my entire life well I'm curious what made you want to order a steak after having such bad experiences with that? well I think I started to realize that there were certain things that I enjoyed but that when my parents made it, I didn't enjoy it. Like, I, I, you know, I love my parents, but uh, hamburgers were one of those other things that I thought I didn't like, but it turns out that no, uh, they just really, really enjoyed not using seasoning and grilling it pretty, pretty bad. That, that was the thing. Also, I never had tomato soup until I think I was about 16, 17, 18 years old, something like that. And then I had it, I was like, this is divine. But I never had it because for some reason at my house, the boys ate chicken soup and the girls ate tomato soup. Okay, <laughs> that's odd. I don't know why, Jeff! I mean, I'm not blaming you for it, but that's just, that's just weird. That's just how it was! I... I had... I don't know. Why would they make two different soups? That's just how it was. My dad wanted chicken soup. My mom wanted tomato soup. So the girls would have tomato soup and the boys would have chicken noodle soup. Oh. Yeah, Jeff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm going with diverse types of soup these days. I don't I don't know if it was a custom. I think it was just that uh I have no idea. But tomato soup is delicious. I'll agree with that. Ah, oh, anyways. I don't know what else to say after my soup diatribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, so the quest, while we're on the topic of soup, is cereal soup? Do you heat it up? Well, no, they're chilled soups. No, exactly. Our chilled uh, soup soup. Yes, strawberry soup is fantastic. It's some of the best. Yeah, vicious soie is really good. I would probably say it's not a soup if it's at least, like, if the liquid part is 100% milk. It doesn't count. I wouldn't, uh, I well, would say that there has to be at least 50% other liquid substance that is not milk. Alright, I mean, there's some, there's some, uh, soups that are mostly coconut milk. Well, I like coconut milk, but what soups are you talking about? Because now I'm interested. By the way, we've got eight minutes left, Jeff. <laughs> Wow. I mean, uh, it's um, like a, a Thai restaurant. I don't know what it's called. Ooh. But... You know, then again, I have like... coconut soup, coconut milk like every day. I... Tom Kagai? Okay, I, I would totally uh, give that a shot. I love coconut milk. But, you know, that's also raising the question, is coconut milk actually a quote-unquote milk? I would say no. 
I mean, it serves all of the same purposes that milk does. I mean, you can you can make a smoothie with it. You can make ice cream out of it. Yeah, yeah, but the milk industry would try to convince you that it's not a milk, and labeling it as a milk is, in fact, a lie. Well, yeah, I mean... I actually had a student write a paper about that one time, and it, it was interesting. I can see where they, they were coming from, but simply put, yeah, I, d I don't buy that personally. <laughs> but dang old supermarkets trying to market non-milk as milk? Yeah, don't don't listen to the industry. <laughs> drink drink what you like. It doesn't really matter what it's called. There's also a big raw milk craze over here, but even Ooh. more so, there's oh. a big yeah essential oils. Well, you don't drink essential oil most of them, you know. But we've got some interesting food crazes here in Utah. Yeah, raw milk, I actually want to give raw milk a shot to see what it's like. Frankly, pasteurized milk is kind of a little bit concerning. But I really uh, don't have milk at all, except coconut milk. Well, there you go. You don't have to worry about that being pasteurized. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the multi-level marketing schemes in Utah are pretty much through the roof these days. You know, they're not doing it with milk, but actually there probably is an MLM about milk here. Like Amway or, or what else you got? <laughs> the milk Amway. <laughs> I don't know what Amway is actually. <laughs> it, it's one of the original uh, MLMs. Okay. Multi-milk marketing? Ew. Ew. Okay, we're done with this conversation. I don't want to learn about multi-milk anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm... What did you walk into, Lizstar? We're talking about milk... MLMs. <laughs> No, I don't know. Like, I'm sorry, this is a collectathon, and with collectathons, sometimes you run out of things to talk about, so we're talking about milk. <laughs> I can't explain why. Probably for the best. <laughs> so, while we're, uh, we only got a few minutes left, do we know what the standings are? I have no clue <laughs> right now. Uh, I, I still feel like Cypherin has done the best, but between, and Jangle Storm is currently on stage three. I think it's probably that order right there. Cypherin, Jangle Storm, and Dan, God of Thunder. See, I was paying some attention. Well, they're both real real close on level three. I don't know how far Cypherin got in the previous attempt. I don't know. Because there's certainly enough time for uh, for Jangle Storm uh, to catch up. Oh, Jingle's already past Cypher, and perhaps. Possibly. I mean, Jangle is left to 32, not donuts, left. <laughs> Cypher is down to 34, not donut. Oh, Cypher might have just passed Jangle Storm. Is this actually well, going to be a close they match? Count down. They count down. Yeah, they do count down. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My stream's delayed. My second. Oh, apparently uh, Cypherin has gotten down to 17 before. Ah. Uh, yeah, this okay. is going to be real close. Isn't this exciting? I'm kind of amazed that this is exciting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is, a, like, one of the calmest matches I think we've had, and it's actually going to be close. <laughs> this is kind of dumb. Jeff... <laughs> Is this, is this not, though, if, if you saw this game, wouldn't you think, this has got to be signed Jeff picked? Yeah. Yeah, this is a Jeff <laughs> pick for sure. 
Why are there hearts? Why are you a clown collecting people's hearts? For the other clowns to eat! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they're not people's hearts. Maybe they're... They're, can they're candy hearts, like at Valentine's. <laughs> well, they're, okay, they're maybe. Dear Valentine's. Maybe. We're really getting down to the wire here. <laughs> we certainly are. Wow. Have I given you any non-licensed game? We had a non-licensed game yesterday. Oh, yeah. Jeff, you decide to go with the bootleg. Yeah. That I was that. about 50 minutes of auto-scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I mean, I'm not going to give them a good bootleg. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, I mean they're not getting like Sumari or something like that or uh <laughs> Yeah, or, it's uh, true. By the way, we're just about to one minute left. Jangle Storm is down to twenty-five of these delicious little rings. Uh looks like Cypher Cypher is this. Probably going to take it with only 14 left. Dan is just sort of chilling, waiting for death to embrace him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, it has a cute idol animation as well. It just uh, he just starts eating candy. See, I told you he was eating them. You're like, no, he's bringing it to the other clouds. Yeah, right. Well, he he does if you don't idle. But if you just <sighs> kind of sit there, he's gonna he's gonna start snacking on them. <laughs> okay, good job, clown. I appreciate it. Hey, Jangle found some more rings, but it's not gonna be enough. Wait, there are two more down there? No, that won't be enough either, because Cypherin has only 11 left. Cypherin is definitely taking the victory today! Okay, I'm I done with that music. Cypherin, Jangle Storm, and Dan. Indeed, Lower. that is our order! What a match! This was certainly something to behold. Oh, Nod, did you survive? Well, I survived what I played. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that's a good sign. Seriously though, great job everybody. I had a lot of fun with this match. Uh, even if we didn't really pay too much attention to the game. <laughs> it's just... great, it's colorful, it's nice to have on screen. And, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful countryside they have there. Yeah, I, I like Germany just watching this. It was beautiful. You know, this is... Ex if I went to Germany, this is what I'd expect to see. Well, it looks like we're checking with Cypherin to see if they want to join. Yeah, he does. Uh, so, I'm just gonna wait. Let's go ahead and start setting up for the next one due to uh, starting just a little bit late with this match. But yeah, I, I think impressive, con impressive job. Uh, Nod then Bao, what are your impressions with this game? He loved it. Not very good. <laughs> oh, okay, not very good. Okay. Well, that that's good to know. <laughs> no, see, see, bro, we're liking it because we're not playing it. Yeah, that's fair enough. I I loved it. I loved it. I just didn't. That's right point. I just hate clowns. If if you really liked it, you'd be playing it on your stream uh, this week. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a faker. I'm a faker when it comes to my video games, and it turns out I actually just hate all video games. I'm just here for all of the money. <laughs> All the millions I'm making from these bad video games, that's what I'm here for. Uh, for real though, I would give this game a shot. It's just, I, I'm very curious why the lag happens every now and then. That's my biggest question. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna go with poor programming. I feel like that's probably it. All those sweet- yeah, I'm- sorry, sorry everybody, this is becoming a... I'll have to say, I'm really curious if Macaw's ever played this. Hello, Cypherin, hello! Hello, can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine, I boosted your audio. How- how was it? How was the game? I actually- I enjoyed it a lot. Really? <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I mean, the, the, the floatiness of the jumps was a bit annoying at times. Uh, like the enemies, you know, the enemies didn't really do much of anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the only thing that I didn't care for is if you died, then you had to start all the way over, you know? You yeah. Touch, but... Gaming over was definitely a little brutal. Yeah. So I didn't probably... mention this to chat, uh, but th you can actually save your game by hitting pass. Uh, we didn't, we didn't want the competitors to do that. Ah, uh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, if, if that had been enabled, that uh, level three death that I had to take intentionally, I, I wouldn't have had to do that, I think, but that was okay. Uh, but yeah, it sucked. Uh, I accidentally fat fingered uh, the keyholes, like in the, the houses, you go in the house and okay. you <laughs> press up on the keyhole. And I accidentally hit it like three times or something, and I wasted all my keys on the third level. And I had to take that death. Oh no! Oh, that's rough. Yeah, that oh. was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I actually noticed that. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really unfortunate. But still, you took the victory today. I'm glad that you enjoyed the game. Uh, Collectathons are always a little bit hard for us to really... Uh, keep track of but luckily the counter there made it really easy uh i i think that other than that it, it was a really enjoyable match we had fun doing commentary today <laughs> cool I, I have to go back and watch the vlog <laughs> we don't talk about the game much but, but we certainly talk <laughs> <laughs> it was a real it was a real close uh match you just eked out a win yeah, it, yeah. like right at the end it's like wow it, this is extremely close, and I don't understand why. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they told me I won by, was it like eight donuts or something like that? Yep. They're not donuts! <laughs> They're not, donut not donuts. donuts! They're little sugar rings! They're candy rings! Oh, I, I always thought when I looked at them, I thought of Homer Simpson. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, like so did literally everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, okay, Cypher, and anything you want to say before we have you uh, take off? Uh, thank you for putting this on, uh, Jeff. Thank you for the pick. I'd love to see if there's, like, speedruns of the game and such. It actually, like, I, I honestly enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. If there aren't, you could definitely put one on the board. I could. There is a long play, but I haven't seen any speedruns of it. It's uh, a little obscure. Yeah, I, uh, I I appreciate this title. Like, it, yeah, it was a, a really good pick. Well, good. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. All right, Dan God of Thunder properly hates the game, so he's luckily got a little more sense. That's good. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We'll go ahead and say goodbye to you. Thank you, Nod and Bow as well, uh, for jumping in, and we'll see you all later. Thank you again. Take care. Oh yeah.